Oh, well, my name is Ruud Winkels. Yeah, everybody knows right now. Uh, the reason why I started goalkeeping is, uh, is pretty easy. Uh, my father was a goalkeeper. And he was never home, uh, always working. But on Sunday at 9 o'clock we went to uh, the local club. And he played in the 9 or the 10 team uh, at that time. And that made such a big impression on me that when I started goalkeeper of playing football, the only thing I wanted to do was uh, stay in the goal. That's the reason why I started goalkeeping. Uh, I really liked what my father did uh, back then, and I wanted to do the same. That's uh, the only reason why I started it, and it's because it's a lot of fun, of course.
it. Yes, my name is Nigel. Currently, I'm 26 years old. Um, I started my career uh, as a goalkeeper when I was six years old. Um, one year later, I moved to PSV. It was my dream club. I was a fan. Um, I think I played for PSV um, for about 16 years. I was with the first team for three years, but I had to overcome a lot of injuries at PSV. I think my first year in the first squad, I dislocated my shoulder. I was out uh, for eight months. I needed the uh, operation and I had to fight back. And then you're gonna do stupid things like I did. So in the last minute, the player broke out. I took him down, red card. He broke his shoulder. Uh, I was uh, suspended for six games. Yeah, it was crazy. So another setback, but I knew I had to fight again. After six games, um, we were doing well, but the coach put me in. And I think because I was training well every day, I put a lot of work in the gym. Because um, when something negative happens, I always try to turn it into something positive. Yeah, so when we have an evening game, we wake up at eight and we have breakfast at nine and we, we strategize our meals throughout the day. So at nine we eat or 12. And at, well, for example, if we, if we have a game at eight o'clock, we have a pre-match meal at five, a pre-match meal at like two, one thirty, and a pre-match meal at 9.30. So we'll, we'll plan our meals in advance. Bananas is, is a great, it's a good half time. bananas is perfect. Bananas is, is my, let's say, uh, if, for example, at PSV we have this like fancy uh, supplementations and bottles and tablets, you know, and, you know, if you don't have that facility, a banana is as good as anything. It's a gold standard. A banana has everything. It's got quick, quick release. We call it quick release carbohydrates, so it goes straight into your into your bloodstream, straight into your body. You can burn it straight away, and it's not too much. It's about you know 30 grams or so. It's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, I wouldn't take before the game. I'll do it at half time. Uh, Sorry? No, Jelly babies. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's high, it's, it's, the context is really high in sugar, really high. And what you'll do, you'll spike really high. You'll spike too quickly. So you probably get a good rush for about 15, 20 minutes. And then during the second 20 minutes, you'll probably go crashing back down again. And you'll probably be like, oh, I feel really, really, really lethargic, you know? So that's why we don't have that kind of sugar. Isn't it? Uh, the most important thing to take from this is, for example, um, if you get good habits now, you start thinking about it now a little bit. When you're grown men and women, yeah, you have the basics and you know the basics and that will make you perform and it will help you, not just in your football career, but also in your working career, you know, everything will get better. You have good habits, you'll have uh, much more uh, balance in your diet and hopefully you will live longer.